Hey there from Bug Eye Guy. Check this out. This is really an amazing restoration and it is done. It's taken a while. Bodhi has been very patient and we have put this thing together from the ground up. This car was completely media blasted down to nothing. Uh, bare, very bare metal and re rebuilt back up to honor the family that's had this car since new. And you can see now there are these beautiful body lines and it's just a stunning restoration. This is, this is I think, one of the best cars we've ever built. Everything is super clean. All the pieces are new. We, we always have that challenge, you know, you, you restore the body of a car like this and then you look at all the pieces that came off and you try to clean them and prepare them and polish them, but in too many cases you end up just replacing them because the car is too damn nice and the pieces have to match. We got all the body lines right. You can see how nicely the nose fits, uh, especially at the rocker there. You can see very clean fit. I've driven the car about 120 miles and it's really now ready for the next big adventure, which is a drive to Reno, Nevada. So the owner will fly in this week, jump in the car and head west. And that's when, uh, again, we get tested. We've had a, a wonderful result from our first test this summer. This was a busy summer for long drives for our cars. We have a car called Ducky that just made a 4,000 mile drive to Washington and uh, really had no issues. So we're pretty excited about that. And this car with the 1275 engine is even more highway friendly. There's a five speed transmission in this one as well. And it's just beautifully done. So a couple of interesting things about this car. This one has the Hardora mats that you can see, those nice rubberized pieces. It, originally the sprites came with this Hardora in the trunk and our position has been that rather than cover carpet in the, in the front areas that Hardora would be a natural progression. So we've done that in this car and I think it really suits the car beautifully. You can see also a, a matching, uh, the customer wanted a white set of rims so there's a matching spare in the back. But what's interesting about this car, back in 1960 when it was new, the owner of this car actually had the back deck cut out, much like the later Sprites and Midgets, so that he would have a little parcel shelf back here and then his three kids rode in the back and they toured Europe with the car in this configuration. So now our customer is the grandson and he wanted to leave that intact to honor the history of this car. It's not correct technically for a bug eye, but it's interesting to see that a family used this to their advantage so that they could tour Europe in this little bug eye and they, that they did. I think they drove all over Europe in this car. So that was kind of cool. They also had these side marker lights installed. Um, according to the grandson, it was required in one of the European countries. I haven't seen that before, but it's fine. Be that as it may, it's uh, an interesting novelty to see that in place. And we left it there. We could have welded those shut, but we chose to honor again, the history of this car as a one family car. It was also at Kelly Air Force Base, uh, at least in 1979 and probably many years before that. That may just be the last sticker. And this is the number plate from when the car was in England. And then as you look, you see a new grill. We, we kept this interesting badge bar intact and we put in better headlight lenses and LED bulbs are hiding inside here. And this is a powder coated windshield frame assembly. So that's beautiful, a new glass new rubber. So many of these cars have a cracked gasket. And in this case, it's all brand new and then entombed in this powder coating. So you end up with a very much more durable windshield frame. And there, of course, is that five speed transmission. This is the original uh, dash layout with everything in the right place. We have added a, a T handle choke and a Motolita steering wheel with a really nice billet horn push. So it's just everywhere you look, pretty much a deluxe, beautiful bug eye, twin tipped uh, exhaust. This is a muffler that we build, which has a great note. I'll take you for a drive so you can see it. And we needed new door latches to get this all to fit properly. And here's our GPS speedometer and an electronic tachometer. That way we can use an alternator. Uh, this is the GPS antenna. 
We put these mirrors in the stanchions for better visibility. It's a larger dashboard mirror and one stanchion mirror. And then just these beautiful recovered seats. Bodie, are you getting ready for a drive? I think so. We also have a tonneau bar here, borrowed from the later Sprite. This tonneau bar gives us some rigidity so that instead of this cutout looking like a bit of a gaping hole, this helps hold the tonneau a little more rigid if the car is configured this way with just the tonneau installed. Anyway, uh, a beautiful car. The last thing for us to do is to put these hubcaps on, the chrome hubcaps. The client wanted white wheels to match, so we've color matched those. And original, those are the original steel wheels with uh, recent tires. And so we have one stellar restored bug eye about ready for another 3,000 miles on its first trip next week. And let's take a look under the hood. So as we move under the hood, hopefully you can see some of the amazing details. We had to, of course, put in new brake and clutch lines along the firewall, and those are mirroring the original design. There's a painted wiper motor and a new master cylinder, and of course, a restored master cylinder tray. Those usually get pretty nasty. Uh, there's an exhaust header, K&N air filters, new HS2 carburetors. This one has a new steering rack and upgraded front shock absorbers that are a little stiffer. Six-bladed fan, an aluminum radiator, new heater valve. Did you know that, that that's how you turn on the heat on a Sprite? You have to open this and open the spigot. A new battery and new cables, a new starter solenoid, electronic ignition, alternator. All new hoses, of course, is a brand new rebuilt 1275 engine. The car came in with a 948. We've uh, replaced the oil pressure gauge line. There's a high output starter there. Uh, just basically everything's brand new. And it's immaculate and it's ready. And this is all part of our, our work to prepare this to make it ready for the cross country journey. We've doubled up the fuse box to try to add a little more protection in line in case there are any shorts that would otherwise toast the harness. Now we have some extra fuses. We have ARP head bolts. And this was the, the valve cover that came with the car. That's, that's left from what we got when the car arrived, but much else has been replaced. It's a new harness and a dummy regulator with a 50 amp fuse in it. It's a new air snorkel leading a, a new blower that's been restored. So really everywhere you look, you see all kinds of new stuff, basically just with the goal in mind of producing the most reliable car and the most show-worthy car at the same time. And it's quite a challenge, but I feel that we've executed this perfectly and I'm really delighted with this product. Everybody did such a nice job and, and now you can see the final result. And let's go for a drive. Bodie, you'll wake up.